Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you all are doing well. And in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the quickest ways to level up Mighty Thor Jane Foster right here as quickly as possible so you can get to that in game stuff. But before I get into that, man, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Continue to help us grow. Also, man, do me a favor, hit that notification bell so that you're alerted the next time that I drop a new video. And that that's out of the way, let's get right into it. So now that Mighty Thor Jane Foster is here, everybody wants to level up as quick as possible. And I'm going to show you one way that I found to get her to max level pretty quickly. Now with the adjustment of, of, of these um, power levels that you can't just really go into what board you want when you're really, really low. You just got to get to a, a certain level that you can get into the data remains mission which will be a level 20 once you get to this mission this is the one you want to do or oh, and i um, mean data remains is one you want to do and you want to do out of the shadows you want to focus on those two because they have a number of chests you can get into you can get gear throw it on and boost that power level but to get to be able to get into those because right now if you're at zero it's going to say you're too low to do those missions you're going to start you out in the level one area we don't want to go in that area so you want to go into the vendors and buy gear you want to go to the vendors and buy gear and hop around and buy gear till you get to at least level 13 or 14 and then you can hop into those worlds let me show you what i'm talking about all right so what you want to do is you want to continue to hop outpost as you see each time you hop in the outpost you get a different piece of gear and it's a different level so you buy that buy this one put it on see i last piece about was seven now it's 14 Got me to 11. The last piece I bought was seven moments ago. Now the next piece is 13, throw it on. And now we're at 13. So now we wanna hop to another outpost because remember, all we're trying to do is get to the power level 20 quickly. So that we get over into it, this area and so that we can do the Outer Shadows mission. Boom, and now you see another piece has respawned with a different level of gears. Now that's 19, so you gotta buy that one. So we take that and let's throw it on. Boom. And it did nothing yet because these this piece is still low and you know, this piece adds to it as being low as well. So we gotta keep hopping outpost. Hopefully we'll get another hammer that's a little bit higher so that we can jump up a little bit more as you can see this piece went to 21 I haven't been gone long enough for this to refresh let's go ahead and get that artifact that moved me to 14 nice it's not too bad so let's go like I said you want to make sure that you're jumping from these outposts giving them enough time a few moments to be able to refresh to put different gear in there that's at a higher level and I'm just really pretty much going from starting the helicarrier going here then going there and just you know keeping it in this circle with the hope and cold that it is it's enough time in between traveling to the outpost to give the outpost time to refresh all right right now that it's at the point to where the outposts are not refreshing fast enough so what you want to do is you want to hop into a mission do a quick mission and come right back out and these should be refreshed okay so the main reason you want to pick this level is because there are a lot of chests on this level and they're easy to get to so you can get to them quickly so you can rinse and repeat this process a dozen times because most importantly we're just trying to get the gear so that we can jump the levels there it's not there there's one oh. where am i going and i do have a guide on the location of all the chests if you need you know help finding them all i'll put that 
in the end screen so that you guys can find it. Right here. Up oh, right there. Boom. That one. Now let's go. Yeah, don't waste your time trying to fight anybody. Really, just trying to do as quickly as possible so that you can restart and do it all over again. Bypass all of that. Get here. Right here. Take out those so that we don't have to worry about them. Boom, now we got that case. Let's burn out. Grab this one. Got to be right there. There. Ah, there it is. Boom. And I said, once you have them all, you can go and put everything on and see how you did. Put the 22 piece on. Too bad, not too bad. And throw the 24 artifact on. Boom, so that got me to 21. So as you see, just in a couple of minutes between me jumping in between the outposts, buying the gear to get me to 14, coming in here, doing this quick run got me to 20 you come out rinse repeat do it all over again or you could hop into the data remains mission the same concept have a lot of chests and they're really easy to get to you can do that as well or you can come back and do this one again it's your preference what you want to do but the whole point is that you go in get all of the chests get out get the gear rinse and repeat so that's what you want to do you want to stick to Resting and repeating the Out of Shadows mission, or you want to go to the Data Remains missions. Both of those have a number of chests in those boards. It's easy to find, easy to get to. Data Remains have a couple of vaults, which are filled with gear. Um, and you want to just, just want to keep rinsing and repeating those because you'll keep getting higher and higher tiers of gear. And what's going to happen is, is that you're going to do some power level jumps in big gaps and then it's going to slow down to where it's like one level or two levels even in those moments when it gets stagnant don't get discouraged all you got to do if you feel like now it's slowed down like you're not getting those big jumps that you would normally get just go to the vendor and buy a piece of gear because all the, the the gear at the vendor are always going to be you know really high or just a couple of levels higher than what the gear you have on but it's always going to be higher than what the gear you have on it may be significant or it may be little but it's always going to be higher and so you buy that one piece of gear and once you have that piece of gear now that puts you in another tier to be able to get that same level of gear or higher gear once you go into the boards and that'll get you out of the little funk that you are that you're in where you're just getting all these pieces and you're really only getting that one level jump or that two level jump but that's what you want to do. Um, and that'll be the quickest way to level Jane, Jane Foster up. And then you can get into the Omega Threat level missions to get that legendary gear that will put you over the top. 
but this is the quickest way to get your power level up to 150 and beyond the quickest way so that you can get to that 150 so that you can start doing the top tier mission I mean because as you guys see it was really only a couple of minutes and I went from 0 to 23 in really just a couple of minutes and I really think it was like three minutes I went from 0 to 23 so it's super easy to do if you follow that process like I said I'm not claiming it's the best in the world but this is an easy way for you guys to level up to be able to get into that uh, end game and higher tier events and boards which is what we all want to do we want to get that higher gear gear got to get that power level up to 150 they put these parameters in to have you be able to go through the game but there are ways to get around it and i just showed you one so again man i hope this video was helpful hope you guys can uh follow my method hope it was easy for you um i tried to make it as easy as possible but yeah, man, that's it for this one. I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form, man. And if it was helpful in some way, shape, or form, man, do me a favor and please consider subscribing to our channel. Continue to help us grow. Also, do me a big favor. Hit that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that you enjoy this type of content so that they shoot out to others who enjoy this type of content as well. And do me one more big favor, man. Hit that notification bell so that you alerted the next time that I drop a new video. That's it, man. Hope it helps. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.